TGIF QHS, I'm Brandon Provine, and thanks for joining us for the first WQHS broadcast. We begin today with Quincy High's own beauty pageant, Mr. QHS. Raising money for great causes, your fellow Blue Devils are jockeying for the crown. Here's Parker Aerosmith's story with more. Um, I think it's a fun way for senior guys to kind of celebrate the end of their high school career. It's something I think they look forward to every year. Um, I know some of the boys, it's um, American Red Cross, Humane Society. I chose to represent the Blessing Cancer Center because it's a charity that's kind of affecting my family right now. It's been fun, a lot more different from the usual football game or usual things I'm a part of. I, th I think it's a part of uh, QHS just because it's something that's been kind of tradition since I've been here since my sophomore year. The Mr. QHS pageant starts at 6 p.m. on Saturday, February 25th in the auditorium. Come support your favorite candidate next weekend. You ever want to know how all the magic is made? Me too, but it's a secret. Broadcast journalism could get you into a position like I am in right now. Getting the scoop on stuff before it's official. Sign up now or later. Here's more information. Because part of what we'll do is we'll have an anchor that will read the, the news or the, the announcements um, to, to people and also then we'll eventually make sort of a, a PSA kind of a commercial sort of thing um, for various, various events or activities going on. So we'll, we'll give it several opportunities for the kids in the class to, to get in front of the camera instead of just being behind it. Well, it'll help people become more informed and just realize that there are you know, many other students out there that you don't see every day or that you had no idea that were doing all of these crazy awesome things. So I think it'll be really awesome once they get to see all of this. Uh, we've learned how to properly set up cameras, we've learned how to use editing software partially, and we've also learned how to interview people properly. I have learned how to handle that camera, what to do, what to do with the camera. Um, how to what what to edit, what to film, how to be a, how to be a general journalist and all that. I definitely so far I've liked the interactions with people and just like setting up an interview and just kind of even just getting to learn about things around the school that I myself didn't even know about. And like journalism and broadcasting really interests me, and I just I saw it when I was picking my classes last year, and I was like, well, journalism and broadcasting is something that is interesting, and I, I enjoy a lot, so um, that's why I picked it. I think the best part of being in this class is, um, you know, being able to work with all of the different personalities that you do and honing skills that, you know, you don't normally get to hone in like other classes. You know, you social skills are expected here. Like, um, you know, like you get to get out of the classroom and do hands-on projects and work with other people. It's not just out of the textbook kind of thing. And so if you're really looking for a change, I think that this class is it. I uh, joined broadcast journalism, I have to say. It's pretty fun. In the future, we'll be reporting on events around QHS like sports and clubs. We plan to have student, player, and senior spotlights. Please join us each week for more great stories. Thanks for watching and have a great day.